A few days ago, I made a video about someone trying to steal my content. If you haven't seen it, I'll quickly get you up to speed. Someone named Broadband TV claimed a European Rivals of Either Tournament highlights video featuring B7, and I didn't know what this had to do with them. Broadband TV is a YouTube network, and when I disputed the claim, they just reinstated the claim and said, nope, this is still ours. I'm in Machinima's network, and we reached out to Broadband TV, but didn't get a reply. This went on for a few months until I decided, screw it, I'll make a video about it, and then I'll have all my subscribers tweet at them and retweet the video at them so I can get some sort of a response. Well, magically, a few days after all my subscribers tweeted at them, because now they suddenly care, I finally got an answer. Keep in mind, this was after they ignored us for months. Here's what that email says. I hope you are well. I just wanted to respond to you in regards to the content BBTV has claimed on your video. In your video, you were taking clips from one of our partners' competition slash gaming fest and then making highlight clips on your channel. Our partner, Geeky Goon Squad, asked that we claim the video as you are using clips in making a compilation. This doesn't count as fair use as you have added no commentary or transformative value. I hope you understand why this content has been claimed and why you can't monetize this particular video. Please let me know if you have any further questions. Okay, we got an answer. That's, that's good. And it's polite enough, and they didn't do anything too scummy in this email, so that gives me somewhere else to go. So uh, from there on, I went to Geeky Goon Squad's channel, and I found that they only uploaded top four of B7. I also found that, for some reason, they entirely deleted the VODs. And seemingly, the Twitch channel that it was originally streamed to just doesn't exist anymore. I actually got the footage not from their YouTube channel. I got it live when they were streaming to Twitch on the Forward Smash channel. I can't find this channel anymore, and the links to the VODs in my video information just... There's nothing there. They don't exist. So as far as content goes to B7, you only have top four, and then my highlight video. There is nothing else. I would also like it to be clear that I do have the developer's permission to make these videos, and the community does like these videos. They generally don't say, no, you can't do this. They tell me, yeah, you go ahead. We encourage you. Please make these videos. This doesn't really mean much in this case, since Geeky Goon Squad, the people actually streaming... I should probably explain who Geeky Goon Squad is. Geeky Goon Squad is essentially the European VG bootcamp. That's, that's what they are. And since there are only four Rivals of Ether videos in total, the top four Rivals of Ether B7 well, top four, uh, leads me to believe they are completely oblivious to how the Rivals community is. They don't know anything about it. But whatever, it's uploaded to their YouTube channel, so it's quote-unquote theirs. So I messaged Geeky Goon Squad directly using the email attached to their YouTube account, and basically said, hey, I have permission from the developers, uh, the, the community seems to like these videos, uh, and asked them to release the claim. I did also make it clear that I did not take it from their YouTube account, and instead it took it from the Twitch, from Forward Smash's Twitch, as it was being streamed live. Here's the email I got back in response. Hello Jarek 4 Gaming. You never asked us for permission to use our content in your video. Because of that, it is a copyright issue which we do treat with a copyright claim. Your video is still online and can be seen, but you won't be able to make money with it. Fair enough. Forward Smash has no rights to give usage permission for content published by Geeky Goon Squad. Neither do the players, since they agreed on giving up all rights by attending the tournament. I am sorry, but in order to ensure future existing Geeky Goon Squad and European Smash in general, we have to treat these copyright issues seriously. Stolen content causes an immense damage for the original content creators. And yes, we know how much work goes into editing, but that is not a legit excuse for ignoring copyright laws. Okay, there is quite a few things I could say here. For one, again, I would like to reiterate they only uploaded top four to their channel and nothing else exists aside from my video. Secondly, this is what you have to deal with on YouTube. People being incredibly by the books, we legally have the rights to do this. I'm not entirely too annoyed, although I am annoyed. I'm not really annoyed by this because at least the money is going to the people that actually streamed it, but at the same time, it's going to Geeky Goon Squad and not really the Rivals community either, so it still kind of sucks. Because again, this is literally the only thing that Geeky Goon Squad has ever streamed or uploaded their YouTube channel involving Rivals of Ether. They're not involved with the community, really. Like, if the official Rivals of Ether channel was claiming some of my Rivals content that was just highlights of tournaments, I wouldn't really be bothered, because that would be going directly back into Rivals. And that'd be fine. I also wouldn't be anywhere near as annoyed if people actually fucking replied to me when I tried to get in contact with them asking, hey, why are you claiming some of my content that I had no idea was even attached to Geeky Goon Squad because you wouldn't tell me, and at the time of getting it wasn't on their Twitch, it was on Forward Smash's Twitch. If you're going to throw copyright bullshit around, which you have the legal rights to, you at least have to tell the person why you're claiming their stuff. But let's go ahead and focus on this last line here. 
We know how much work goes into editing, but that is not a legit excuse for ignoring copyright laws. I'll just go ahead and flat out say it, now you're just being a dick. Do you have permission to actually stream Rivals of Ether content from the developers? Probably not. You're ignoring copyright laws as much as I'm quote unquote ignoring copyright laws. If you want to just tell me this is our content, whatever, that's fine. But don't be an asshole about it. I would also like to state that again, they only uploaded top 4 and all of their top 4 videos got somewhere between 130 to 320 views. All of those videos combined made only a quarter of the amount of views that my B7 highlight video did. The only thing I was doing was redirecting their attention to the full VODs that people wanted to watch it that would have originally not watched it to begin with. So again, it goes back to YouTube's stupid system of everyone being completely strict on copyright rules and we have the legal rights to do this, so we're gonna go ahead and do it regardless of negative PR or how much of a dick we're being. And because of this reason, I am simply not going to make any more tournament highlight videos if Geeky Goon Squad is involved. Not only out of sheer pettiness, because I'll be honest, I am not supporting these guys any more than that one video, and I have no interest in doing that, but also because they are showing they have no problem throwing around their legal rights. So they could easily get copyright strikes on my channel, which I don't want to risk. If you get three of them, your channel gets taken down, and since I do this full time, I don't want to risk losing my profits or my revenue or my way to pay rent, basically. So I'm sorry to anyone that likes these videos, and again, I want to be clear, this only applies to things that Geeky Goon Squad will be streaming. I will not make any videos that they are streaming them, as they will probably just claim the video or get them taken down entirely. It's too much of a risk for me to do. I also don't want to pay them, which is essentially what happens when someone claims your video. All money that that video would have made that should have gone to you goes to the person claiming it. So anyone or any money that that B7 video makes on my channel is instead going to Geeky Goon Squad. Again, if this was going directly to Rivals of Ether, that would not bother me in the slightest. So yes, I'm still making tournament highlight videos, just not if Geeky Goon Squad streams it. I know I'm going to get a lot of comments saying, well, can't the Rivals devs do something about this, but not really, because they would also have to do something about the Rivals content posted on Geeky Goon Squad's channel. It could lead to a series of Rivals content on YouTube just getting claimed as being theirs, and there's really nothing they could do that wouldn't be a PR nightmare. So this is, as it stands, likely the conclusion to this. Alright, it's still claimed, and the money is going to Geeky Goon Squad. There's our answer. At the end of the day, that's really just what I wanted to know. Why are people claiming my content? You didn't really have to be a dick about it, but someone is a dick about it, so whatever. If you'd like to watch content that wasn't claimed by these people, go ahead and check these tournament highlight videos or the combo videos linked over here in the end screen. And I'll see you guys next time.